Let's start our stream about American Moon Mars. Okay. On different media. Today is night time. But we start today very unusual stream. Night stream. This is night stream about American Moon Moth. Hello, my dear friends. My name is Viktor Fursov. I'm a research entomologist, beekeeper and teacher. And today I will be talking about American Moon Moth. Not about bees, not about wasps, not about parasitoids, not about parasitic wasps, which is my subject of research, parasitic wasps. So that's why I'm often talking about them, about their life cycle and life biology. But they're very tiny, very small, they're flying around it like plankton. But for other people, just big insects, giant insects are more interesting. Some moths, they are not giant, but they are pretty big. They are relatively more large, like this Saturnide silk moth on this poster. Here this poster about insects in Ukraine. I'm talking with you not from America, not from United Kingdom, I'm talking with you from Kyiv, the capital of Ukraine, and in English, to understand, to be understood worldwide. And so you can understand me, and I can easily talk with you on internet, on my computer, the different media, either Facebook, the comments on my YouTube channel, or you can send me my private, on my private email, your private message, if you are interested in some kind of identification of different insects, which sometimes can be invasive to your house. So and you are not going to be happy about it if you are not entomologist, if you are not devoted biologist, if you are not devoted naturalist. Other people, naturalists, biologists and zoologists are usually very accustomed to the behavior of insects. But today we will be talking about night moths, nocturnal moths, which are bred actually in captivity at home. Very easy to keep some tiny and bigger and bigger and pretty large caterpillars at home to grow a culture of home pets, home pets, home moths. Oh, somebody is online, Dmitry. Okay. So, if you like insects, you can keep them at home like pets. Some people some unusual people, some crazy people, can keep at home even crocodiles, even just big giant lizards or just python. Snakes! I do not appreciate this kind of hobby, this kind of activity. Huge snakes, huge lizards, even tiny chameleons are very cute, but very fragile animals. Better to keep them in the nature or only devoted, well-educated zoologists can keep them in captivity to breed them in good conditions. But for insects conditions can be much easier. So that's why today I will be talking about moths, how to keep them and how to receive, finally, cocoons, pupae and again adults. You have, if you have seen my previous videos, the culture of night moths or nocturnal moths can be started from eggs. So eggs you can receive from private collectioners, collectors or private lepidopterists who are breeding in captivity. For instance, if I have large culture or lepidopterist has a cult large culture of insects, usually there are some males and females and after, fe after mating of males and females of different moths, they, lepidopterists can receive eggs, bunch of eggs, and lepidopterists can share these eggs or can sell, according to the order, these eggs to another lepidopterist or another entomologist or to another amateur. So you can do it online if you want to breed some insects like nocturnal Saturnid moths or silk moths in captivity, you can receive initially eggs. But I have already caterpillars because in my previous videos I showed you the whole cycle, and first of all I need to show you caterpillar, not caterpillar, but adult. I need to show you the moth, American moon moth. American moth is moon moth, not so big, about 10 centimeters size, lifespan, but pretty nice, because 
she has a very beautiful green pale whitish color so she's a little bit fat this is a female with very tiny fragile antenna on the top of head fat body because there are a lot of eggs inside the body and if I could have a males and female males just many of them they can be mating inside big artificial bag and I could receive some eggs but today I will be not talking about breeding but about growing something else something interesting about growing caterpillars in captivity we put our beautiful moth on this octopus come 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 here so you will know how my moth looks like so she will be sitting on this very tiny toy this octopus she has female of the this is a female because this is a fat body very tiny antenna not so hairy male has a hair too much hairy antenna very visible and very tiny tails yes. and she's flying by the way so that's why i have kept her inside special box for security because if she will be flying actively around she can damage tails and wings because of some light around okay on, on lamp for instance because usually Saturn in the most silk moths were attracted to the light uh, coming to the light on the top of sailing so we can damage something of her body hopefully she will be sitting carefully so let's start from the beginning initially you can receive eggs from eggs some caterpillars will hatch and the caterpillars will be growing you need to give this kind of a host plants I gave host plant like this one big one this is not a cabbage this is a big leaves of what walnut yes they're growing very fast some trees near my house so some leaves are quite big like cabbage but this is still leaves of walnut different plants can be used as a host plant for food of caterpillars and you can keep caterpillars just on plants and put plants in a bottle of bottles with water to keep them fresh and how process is going you can keep it different way the simplest way to be put caterpillars in container for instance in this container already I have the last but not the least two caterpillars which are very growing in feeding a on leaves so you can see this bunch of leaves has been eaten completely nothing little bit some pieces of are eaten so if I have just a caterpillar caterpillar is very careful very sophisticated way of food feeding so eating leaf one by one so carefully don't miss very sweet pieces of leaves so she ate a full bunch of leaves very carefully because if you are eating and feeding on the bunch of leaves you don't know what's going on around maybe there will be no leaves but here you see this is a caterpillar and I have some more yes because I gave yes I gave fresh I gave fresh leaves here inside of the bag but still caterpillars sitting on this stick and feeding carefully feeding 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 carefully on small pieces of leaves part by part so uh, unless everything has been eaten she would do not want to miss anything else just will eat everything everything carefully everything else so you see all this eaten so the size of these caterpillars already about six centimeters quite a big one and you see no leaves on this bunch of tree yes and see 
He was just a rubbish. Of course, this container is small one for two caterpillars is good enough, but for more, it will be a little bit smaller. So that's why you need to do you just container with some ventilation and with some toilet paper on the bottom to prevent too much moisture. Otherwise, much moisture will receive with moisture you will receive some fungi, some infection, maybe sometimes even just a virus infection. So be careful about moisture to avoid rubbish inside, to avoid all this, to throw away all this poop, poop inside. And don't forget that when caterpillars want to pupate, they produce water. So don't be afraid. If some at certain point when caterpillars are growing, growing very fast, eating, eating very fast, eating too much. Finally, you will find some poop, dirty poop, black color poop, and some water. What's going on, you will say? Maybe we are dying. No, 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 no. Caterpillars sometimes can change with the color, well, sometimes becoming uh, yellowish, changing the colors, or, or a little bit orange, or we can get just a maximum size of the growth. And I will give a little one leaf more for them. Maybe we'll need still some food. So after producing exudate, exudate. So they produce some water, like extra water on your, on your toilet paper or filter paper. And it means caterpillars are ready to pupate. To pupate. What means pupate? Because pupa this is next step of development of caterpillars. Caterpillars are growing and they're molting. They're changing their skin to grow up. They're changing skill, skin, and they take off their shell. It is the skin off five times. They have a five instars. Five instars, five life stages of caterpillars. From the smallest till the middle size, middle size, and then just the biggest size will be fifth stage, fifth instar. And after that, caterpillar will produce latest poop and latest water ex exudate to, to some kind of extraction of water and will start to make cocoon, start to spin a cocoon. Cac how should do it? We can find it here. Okay. I can show you how it's going on. What's going on in this container? In this container, the same situation. Most of all these caterpillars, they produce cocoons. How they are look, looks like, I can show you. Because I was keeping it a few days, didn't distract. The bees. some leaves see this is terrarium with some leaves but already no pupa no no the caterpillars because all caterpillars in this kind of a container in this kind of terrarium about 10 liters terrarium which have more space for caterpillars, more space for fresh leaves. All caterpillars they produce cocoons. You see, still have some green, greenish leaves, and this is a kind of a box. You see, something is moving inside. Yes, this I wanted to show you. This is a cocoon. This is already a little bit brownish cocoon which is made of silk, silk produced by caterpillar. The caterpillar take off skin and becoming a pupa. So this process is called metamorphosis. Next stage after caterpillars, this is a pupa inside cocoon. How many pupae I have and many cocoons? 
And finally, I show you this kind of gerbarium. How I make this cocoon between leaves or between toilet paper, because toilet paper have been used just for avoiding moisture. And you see, I have a lot of gerbarium, and in this gerbarium, there's leaves, and these leaves are very noisy. You see. Maybe not so. Can listen it, can hear it, but you can recognize. So these are all sticks. All, all these dead leaves are still moving. Someone is rustling inside. What's that? So yeah, I can explain this miracle. Something is moving. It's not me I'm doing like this. No, 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 no. I can initiate it, but still it's continuing. Something is moving inside. These are moving pupae and side cocoons. Inside silky cocoons. How do I look like? People were spinning it just between leaves, even between some toilet paper. So you see brownish inside. Something moving inside. I can show you in front of camera. This is pupa. She's moving inside. Semi-transparent cocoon. And all this toilet paper with remnants of leaves inside several cocoons. So and they have a bunch of them. So as I showed you just all of them they are sitting inside cocoons and they are rustling. Yes, you can recognize they are moving. What's that? Quite strange behavior, very funny behavior. Well, you, you can hear the noise. Yes, yeah, so these noises are very specific for American moon moth. They are producing noise. You can suggest this is self-protection moon, for self-protection. Because usually all predators like birds, or maybe lizards and some squirrels, they are afraid some noise. So if cater caterpillar will be silent, silent food, but this is active food. So, so that's why pupa and initially just even caterpillar is moving inside, but after molting, pupa is moving inside and producing this kind of a fu funny noise. So rustling, rustling pupa. You can recognize. They're making kind of musical instrument. Yes, curious Koi asking me about what kind of food is better. Yes, I suggest it's one kind of food, one kind of plant, like walnut, for instance, or cherry. You started with cherry, just feed with cherry. If you started with black walnut, it's a good enough, you don't need to change, change the plant, food plant, because caterpillars will, will be feeding on one food source, so where do like one food sauce, and if you change it from walnut to a cherry, maybe we will not like it very much, because we don't have opportunity in the nature to walk very actively, very quickly, from one tree to another tree. It's a long way for them, they can drop down, just fall down from one tree to another tree, just only by accident, not very often. So one kind of food is the best way. Even you can be here between these leaves of paper, as I showed you, or fully inside inside of the paper, fully inside the paper. So I do this jumping jumping toilet paper. So this is jumping cocoon. But noisy as well. Because inside pupa, 
and we're inside inside this cocoon. <laughs> no, no, she cannot. She is not able to escape because for pupa it's absolutely safe. Pupa is making noise for self protection, and she cannot escape. She cannot make a hole unless it will be the time of metamorphosis metamorphosis from pupa to adult or moth but it will be actually on the next season because I guess so we will not produce adults soon because they will not have just good enough leaves for feeding them in the autumn time but it depends from the temperature because American moon moth Arctius Luna had several generations in northern Canada, northern areas of counties of Canada, American moon moths. We have one generation, but somewhere in, in Texas, American moon moth produced three or four generations because of different climate conditions and some of temper, temperatures. You see, we're, we're making sound, musical sounds according to my speech, together with my speech. I cannot play on them. I... Sometimes, there's... Sometimes when I just go into sleep while it's still moving. I do not try to disturb them very much. Here again, white cocoon with pupa inside. I will delete just the remnants of this, but I just remain it to show it. The size of cocoon just the same like Bombix Mori, the same inside of already brown pupa. Yesterday it was still green caterpillar, when just this morning it was very pale brownish pupa, and now it's already dark brown color pupa. So, because pupa is hardening, so becoming with a good shell for so again for self protection after molting after the molting from caterpillar into pupa so and this is a time of a sleeping so it's so secret 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 pupa or secret and this is secret caterpillar and secret So herbarium is just noisy. So this kind of herbarium, by the way, and I wanted to show you finally like, terrarium. Terrarium is still keeping, still with some leaves, because I didn't disturb it for a couple of days, because some caterpillars they moved, made some cocoons just on the walls, on the bottom, here. So there is a whitish cocoon on the down side of terrarium. This one, this another one. You see here this brown color cocoon again. So you need to wait just a couple of days unless silk is hardening and also caterpillar is not pupating immediately after spinning cocoon. She needs to wait a little bit, maybe half a day, few hours, and they just she pupate, and pupa is very soft. So that's why you don't need to take off cocoon immediately. You will damage the pupa. But after a couple of days, pupa will be dark brown, so it will be easier to take off cocoon and put it in the separate box. And here the same few, few cocoons were still between leaves inside this cage. And already, unfortunately or fortunately, no caterpillars anymore. Because of all of them they pupated. Unfortunately, there are some virus diseases, some virus infections can appear on caterpillars. If you have 100, 200 caterpillars and you don't take care about moisture, so that's why some caterpillars can become ill, unfortunately. Why means ill? Because 
Viruses everywhere around, not only COVID for human beings, but also viruses for insects. It's a very common situation because only small amount or generation of caterpillars of each species of moth will survive through a generation till the lightest stage of caterpillar. Unfortunately, about six, seven caterpillars already, big size like this, they became black colored and they died. So that's why be careful to keep your caterpillars out of water and out of poop inside the cage. So clean your cage as soon as possible as you see some dust inside to so take off the dust. So with dust you can remove some fungi and some possible infection. So together with Where is caterpillar? Caterpillar, you are here. Yes, yes, this is two caterpillars. So, some caterpillars can die because we're becoming completely dark or we're becoming like a jelly. And we spray it just water around and they die immediately after infection. So of course you need to clean your container, change the toilet paper, change the ventilation, add some fresh leaves to avoid infection. Now I have only two caterpillars as a rem, my the last, but was not the, the least. And I really appreciate the help of my friend Oleg for sending me this funny eggs of American moon moth to have some fun with breeding these lovely caterpillars which are very nice. I have recorded some behavior how they are grazing leaves and it's funny to observe them how they are grazing with the mandibles where we are mouth parts very quickly and how they graze all leaves in small pieces part by part and when we have a small size or big size or the biggest size is the most beautiful very funny green color with some small tiny pots with small head on the body so that's why you cannot be very sensitive like another species of moths which are very hairy this this species American moon moth more or less not so hairy you can say practically bare or naked caterpillars so that's why you don't be afraid about allergy regarding hairs which can come, come by accident to your eyes or on your skin practically by naked not so dangerous but try don't touch them too much because this is stress for caterpillars if you touch them if you want just to enjoy what is this with your lovely caterpillars how you looks like and touch with your fingers so you you can be your fingers can be vectors of some diseases some viruses don't touch them and of course if you touch them with your fingers put on your palm just playing with them like with toys don't play with them keep it keep them on sticks and observe carefully or just take some photos and videos just for fun for curiosity for education to show you for your friends for your parents for your children because it's quite easy to keep them even in a small container of 3 liters, 5 liters, 10 liters and a food plant like a black walnut or cherry is it just easy to, access, to get access anywhere just around houses in a park. So that's a story about American moon moth, about funny caterpillars and of course about very funny pupa inside cocoons. If you enjoyed, if you liked it, if it was interesting for you, you can repeat this my experience yourself, searching for some caterpillars, searching for some lepidopteries who can send you eggs of some butterflies or daily butterflies or night moths. And you can repeat this experience at your home, keeping these cages or containers 
at home in careful place, not in direct light, because under direct light in summertime it will be too much moisture and insects and air inside will be very hot, so caterpillars can die. So you avoid put it in the shadow part, just under conditioner if it is cool in a room to provide careful conditions for all these caterpillars. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed. Press like, write your comments, ask your questions under this video in comments and visit my Patreon page for some donations. Why not? This is the kind of feedback. And ask your questions if you are interested in some entomological questions and some questions about insects, mites, ticks or something else, some other arthropods or insects. Or if you are interested about Ukraine. So I can tell you more about Ukraine because Ukraine now in a war situation, which is very much unpredictable and difficult. That's why we say support Ukraine, Ukraine, stand with Ukraine, and looking forward to see you soon on my channel again. Thank you for watching, good luck and see you soon on my channel. Bye bye. Finish translation. Stand with Ukraine, good luck, see you soon on my channel. Ukraine forever. Ukraine forever. Stand with Ukraine. Support Ukraine.